Hi everyone, I'm back. I know it's been a while, but here I am. Sorry about the wait. This is Manner of Death, and this week's Manner of Death is Homicide. Lloyd Fitzgerald Lloyd Fitzgerald was a 27-year-old man who was from the city of Burlington and worked as in their electric and light department. He was married and a father of three children. He was last seen alive on October 2nd, 1972 in Burlington, Vermont. After that, he went missing. Later on that month, in March, his body was found in a cornfield near the Ethan Allen homestead. He had been shot and his case was declared a homicide. In October of 1973, police discovered that Lloyd was killed with the same gun that was used in the killing of Raymond Lestage, a different case. Three men were convicted for that death, but have never been officially tied to Lloyd's murder. It's been five decades, yet his case remains open. If you have any information about Lloyd's case, please contact the Vermont State Police at vsp.vermont.gov slash tipsubmit or you can text VTIPS to 274637. Jean Rhine Jean Rhine was a 29-year-old man. On the 19th of April, 1980, in Winooski, Vermont, a person was walking in the parking lot of a building where they found Jean deceased on the ground. His death was declared a homicide, and since then, there have been no further updates in his case. There is also not a lot of information about Sean, so every little bit would be helpful. If you know anything about his case, please contact the Vermont State Police at vsp.vermont.gov slash tipsubmit, or you can text VTIPS to 274637. Angela Belisle Angela Belisle was a 35-year-old woman living at 62 Bricks Avenue in Burlington, Vermont. She was a mom of three and had recently divorced. She was also a teacher at St. Albans Elementary School. On January 3, 1981, her body was found covered with snow in her driveway. She had been shot and had frozen to the ground because it was so cold outside. The night before she was found, she met her ex-husband in a parking lot to drop off her children for a visit. Afterward, she went to the grocery store and headed home. It's thought this crime was personally motivated as nothing was stolen from the scene. Since then, Angela's case has remained unsolved. If you have any information about Angela's case, please contact the Vermont State Police at vsp.vermont.gov slash submit. Or you can text VTIPS to 274637. John McGrath John McGrath was a 55-year-old man who was shot and killed on October 10, 1974. His slaying occurred in the town of Winooski, Vermont. Unfortunately, this is all I could really find about his case. The Vermont State Police didn't even have a photo of him under his case which is really sad. There's not a lot of information to go off of, but if you know anything about John's case, please contact the Vermont State Police at vsp.vermont.gov slash tipsubmit, or you can text VTIPS to the number 274637. Rita Curran. Rita Curran was a 24-year-old woman who worked as a school teacher and lived at 17 Brooks Avenue in Burlington, Vermont. She had recently moved to that address as before she was living at home. On July 20th, 1971, one of her roommates found her body on the bedroom floor. Rita had been sexually assaulted and beaten before being strangled. There are conspiracies that Ted Bundy might have been her killer, as she had worked as a maid during the summer at a motel next to the Elizabeth Lund home for an wed mother, which is where he was born. This theory, however, has been neither confirmed nor denied, which is why it remains just that, a theory. Still, it's been years yet since Rita's case occurred, 
If you have any information about her case, please contact the Vermont State Police at vsp.vermont.gov slash tipsubmit, or you can text VTIPS to the number 274637. Keith Destromp Keith Destromp was a 35-year-old man who was known to frequent the area around the abandoned Peace Grain building, which was popular with the homeless community. On May 30, 1989, he was discovered there, dead from blunt force trauma. His death was ruled a homicide. Keith's case is now over 30 years old and remains cold. Little else has been released about his death. If you have any information about Keith's case, please contact the Vermont State Police at vsp.vermont.gov slash tipsubmit, or you can text VTIPS to the number 274637. Michael Durenlu. Michael Durenlu was a 35-year-old man in 1985 and was leaving Veronica's Tavern, a local bar located at 38 Park Street in Essex, Vermont, when an unidentified attacker started stabbing him in the parking lot. Michael's wife was there with him, but was left unharmed. Later, he would die from his injuries. Since then, his attacker remains unknown, and his case is unsolved. In 1994, Michael's wife was tried and convicted for the first-degree murder of her husband, but this was later overturned as the evidence against her was circumstantial. The reasoning for her conviction is that she allegedly was having an affair and wanted a divorce, which prompted the prosecution to attempt a conviction. Remember, this is all alleged. If you'd like to take a closer look at this trial, I left a link of it in the description below. It is listed as State vs. Durenlu. Since it was overturned, Michael's case remains open. If you have any information about Michael's case, please contact the Vermont State Police at vsp.vermont.gov slash tipsubmit or you can text VTIPS to 274637. Wendell Emsley Wendell Emsley was born on January 2, 1914 in Vermont. In 1940, he married and continued to live in Vermont. He worked as a jewelry courier for Lippas Inc. and was last seen en route on March 23rd. His car was later found at a shopping center with all his personal papers and jewelry still left untouched. In late March, Men Wendell, who was 63 years old, was discovered dead from a gunshot wound. He was found on a small island in the Winooski River in Duxbury, Vermont. Police believe he was the victim of a robbery. It's been 45 years and his case remains unsolved. If you have any information about Wendell's case, please contact the Vermont State Police at vsp.vermont.gov slash tipsubmit or you can text VTIPS to 274637. Bruce Isaacs Bruce Isaacs was a 29-year-old man who was living as a transient in the area of the Little River State Park in Waterbury, Vermont. On September 26, 1988, Bruce was found deceased by power company workers who were clearing some brush away. His death was declared a homicide. To this day, his case remains open. If you have any information about Bruce's case, please contact the Vermont State Police at vsp.vermont.gov slash tipsubmit or you can text VTIPS to the number 274637. Hey everyone, it's Manner of Death. I just wanted to say thank you for tuning in and sorry for the long wait. I was really busy with the upcoming holiday season, but still, expect to see more uploads from me in the next coming month, and yeah, happy holidays, and y'all have a good one.